Hello guys, how are you today? We will be explaining the difference between a change in quantity demanded and a change in demand. So, by the end of the lesson, hopefully, you will be capable of understanding what's the difference between a contraction and an extension, and you will be able to analyze the reasons behind the shifting of the demand curve. When I want to talk about the changes in the demand curve, the changes can be either a movement along the demand curve or a shift of the demand curve. Let me start with the first one. A movement along the demand curve, it means I am only talking about one curve. And here, I am only talking about the price as a factor, nothing else. So because prices are increasing, it would affect my quantity demanded. And since demand curve is, uh, it states the inverse relationship between the price and the quantity demanded, I would say that as prices are increasing, my quantity demanded decreases. Therefore, I will be able to show the movement along the demand curve only. So it would be any point on the curve itself. And as you can see, I am only able to see one curve, which is the demand curve. When I am talking about the shifts of the demand curve, it means I will be talking about two different curves. So here at that point, if my curve shifts to the left, to the left-hand side, it means my demand curve is decreasing or it's shifting inward. And this is due to the factors or the demand shifters. And if my demand curve is shifting to the right, I say there is an increase in my demand or my demand curve is shifting outward. So what is a movement along the curve? When I am talking about a movement along the curve, you guys, it means, for example, if my prices decreased from 40 to 30, look what happened to my quantity. It increased from 4 to 6. So as prices decreased from 40 to 30 what happened to my quantity demanded okay so make sure you say quantity demanded and not demand only this is very important you guys so you are not allowed to say demand no it should be quantity demanded what is happening to it it is increasing from four to six so since my quantity is increasing, I call that an extension. On the other hand, if I want to explain a different scenario here, and I will be explaining it with a green color, if my prices increase from 30 to 40, also my quantity demanded and not my demand changed it decreased from six to four since my quantity demanded is decreasing i would call that a contraction so when i am talking about a movement along the curve as you can see i will only have one curve to study and it is happening because there is a change in price and i considered all the factors that affect the demand being constant i call this case ceteris paribus ceteris paribus is when i am only studying price and it is affecting my quantity demanded that's it i consider factors such as income taxes on income population advertisement all of them, I consider them constant and they remain unchanged. So, if my quantity demanded is decreasing from 4 to 1, this means I am talking about a contraction. If my quantity demanded is increasing it's moving from six to eight, let's say, then this I would call an extension. 
if you have a look at this graph, you are only capable of seeing one demand curve and nothing else. What would you call this? A movement along the curve or a change in demand? What is affected? Quantity demanded or demand? I would call this a movement along the curve. And what is changing is my quantity demanded because the prices are changing. The only thing that is changing here is price. Factors are remaining constant. Now let us explain what is the shift of the demand curve. When I am explaining a shift of the demand curve, it means it's either my demand curve is shifting to the left or inward, which means that my demand curve is decreasing, or my demand curve increased and it shifted to the right. I will have a new demand curve, which is the green one. It shifted to the right, and this shows an increase in demand. What will cause these things, the, these, uh, the, the demand curve to shift left or right, decrease or increase? It is because I take the factors of demand into consideration. I would call them factors or shifters of demand. At that point, my price is not changing. So, for example, here, as you can see, at a price of 30, let's say the, de the quantity demanded at that point, it was 6. Okay? Now, if there is a decrease in income, look, at the same price, still the price is 30, it didn't change, we will demand nothing. At the same price again, there is another scenario because I received a raise in my income. For example, look, my quantity demanded changes. So here, prices are not changing. So again, I want you to think of it. If the demand curve is shifting to the right, what do we call that? This would be an increase in demand. And again, I am not saying increase in quantity demanded. This is wrong. So you must say it is an increase in demand because you have a new demand curve. You have more than one curve. Whereas if the demand curve shifted to the left, I would be calling that a decrease in demand. So this is a summary that explains the difference between movements and shifts. So when we are talking about a change in quantity demanded, it is a movement along the curve and you will only be able to see one curve and at that point price is changing and the factors are constant. And I would call that ceteris Paribus. When I want to say change in demand, remember, it means I am talking about two curves. It's either increasing or decreasing. So it's either shifting to the right or shifting to the left, or I say inward, outward. And at that point, remember, price is not changing. So at that point, I say there is a change in demand. The whole demand curve is shifting. Here, in movement along the curve, I cannot say change in demand. I have to say change in quantity demanded. It's either an extension or a contraction. So this is like a summary, the difference between movement along the curve and a shifting of the curve. Okay, so please have a look at it. All right, so since I finished explaining the objectives, 
I would like to ask you a few questions. What do you think would happen to the demand of a product? So to the demand of a product when the price increases. Demand will stay the same. But what is changing here is you need to tell me that the quantity demanded is the one that would be decreasing. And this is what I would be calling a contraction. So did you see the difference between the demand and the quantity demanded, you guys? Remember, price, when it changes, it is affecting quantity demanded. The demand is affected by the factors or the shifters of demand. Okay, so when I am saying price changes the quantity demanded, I would say, so price changes the quantity demanded, I would say that would be a movement along the demand curve. And this is where I will be having only one curve. And the shifters of demand are the ones that will shift the whole entire demand curve, either to the right or to the left. Remember, you always need to label your graph. All right, guys, that would be it for today. Thank you for listening. Please don't hesitate to ask any questions. Have a lovely day.